I happen to like weeds, so she's struck it lucky. The butterfly herself feeds on nectar, but her instinctive wisdom tells her that these leaves will be the right food for her caterpillars. This lacewing doesn't need to provide food because her young ones will go off hunting for themselves. But she puts the eggs very carefully on sticky stalks to keep them safe from egg thieves, like prowling ants. Female spiders only have to mate once to produce many batches of fertile eggs. Laying the eggs takes no time at all, but it takes the spider hours to weave a secure nursery around them. Like the cat, most of the females we been... Female harlequin bugs lay their eggs around a stem and sit over them, almost like a bird brooding its eggs. In this case, though, it's not to keep the eggs warm, just the opposite. The female acts as a sunshade, keeping the eggs covered with her shadow. This female's rebuffing a male that's approached her. She might see him as a threat to her eggs, and that's more important than dalliance for the moment. She'll rebuff any would-be egg predator in the same way. This is the insect I call the jelly bean sawfly. She's laying her eggs through a leaf and gluing them in place on the underside. After she's laid all her eggs, the sawfly moves to the base of the leaf. She stands on guard there until the young ones hatch and she buzzes angrily at intruders. Female centipedes are really wrapped up in their families, or the other way around. When the eggs hatch, this female will stay curled around them until they are old enough to leave home. The fearsome-looking huntsman spider is an exemplary mother. She makes her egg sack behind bark and hugs it close to her. The hatchlings stay around for some time. Some mothers refuse to let maternal responsibilities tie them down. The female wolf spider pulls her egg sack behind her wherever she goes. It's like pushing a pram in reverse. That way she can keep an eye on her eggs. It's easy when you've got eyes on the back of your head. Yes, it's a scorpion, and she's giving her babies a piggyback. The mother scorpion gives birth to live young, little porcelain replicas of herself. They'll ride around safely on her broad back until they get their bearings. So there you are, maternal care. It quite takes the sting out of being a scorpion, doesn't it? Species, have they? And what they tell us is that the instincts of motherhood have been around for a very, very long time.